Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show and discuss how we configure the Playwright automation suite with the GitHub action and how we execute by using the GitHub action and after that, how we publish the artifacts reports in GitHub. Okay, so there are some prerequisites for this of this video. So you should able to create Java Maven project for the playwright by using the test engine. And also you are able to run your test using the command line and code is available in the source code management tools here the GitHub. Okay, so these you have already set up in your uh, system. Okay, before going to watch this video, because after this, I am setting up how we create workflow, how we configure Playwright Maven project with the workflow, and how we execute the test. So I have already project is available under the GitHub. This is the Playwright Java, and this is public repository. We can also create a private repository here and push our code. So my project is I am able to run this using the Maven from the command line. And also Maven form.xml file is available here. Okay, if we trigger run the Maven command mbn test, so it will execute one test. Okay, and uh, we need to run the test in headless mode as well as the headed mode both. But if we want to run the playwright test in headed mode, then we need to configure something. I will discuss that in other video. So in this video, I am going to create the uh, set up and execute the automation test in headless mode. So I have already configured to run the test in head headless mode. Okay. So what we need to do after that, once your code is available, okay, go to the actions here. There is a new workflow button. Click on this. Okay. We have multiple options, right, to create the workflow. Like I'm going to create a Java with Maven. So I will select this configuration, configure. So it will give us the template. Here you can see this is giving me template. Now we need to add our a playwright configuration under this. Okay. So how we set up. So let's move here. In the playwright document, we have these steps. Copy these, these steps. Go to your file here. So I'm going to remove these steps. Okay. So let me remove this and paste it here. So first is this is already available run equal to Ubuntu latest machine. So this is the agent machine where our test will run. And initially, let me first move this. So indentation is moved. So in, this is the Java CI with Maven. This is the name of the uh, workflow. And we have also push pull request. All those we are getting from master branch from the repository. We can also change the branch from which branch we want to run. So this is the job detail. So build run on Ubuntu latest machine. So this is the uh, hosted machine by the GitHub, right? Where the test will run. So we mention here one to latest, it will execute on one to latest machine. Action checkout. This will check out the code from repository. Action setup Java. This will be setup Java because we need to execute our automation test. Okay. With the help of using Java. With distribution as well as Java version 17. Now next we have build. Okay, build and install. This is the name of job. So here mbn hyphen b install so it will install all the packages what we have from the in the pom.xml file right so this command basically will install all the dependency download the jar files okay which we have mentioned in the pom.xml file next we have install playwright so basically this command here mbn exe java this this will download and install the playwright okay their dependencies like browser on the machine then we have next run test okay here i am calling here ambient test right so when we run ambient test it will execute the test which is available in our 
Java project. So as of now, I configured to run only one test that will execute under the uh, GitHub. Okay. So once this this is done, let's here click on the commit button at the right side. Start commit. Okay. Give the commit name. Creating Maven YML file. Like suppose that I am giving create an action workflow file. Okay. So commit directly to master branch, or we can also create new branch. After that we can merge, right? But I am checking this first one directly. I am going to commit to the master branch. Click on commit new file. So this file will be automatically added under the dot GitHub workflow. If I go in our project, you will see now here one folder is created GitHub dot GitHub. Or there is one workflow folder, and here is a YML file. So YML file is contain the same code what we added here. Now this YML file is created. Again, if I go here, you will see automatically it's trigger right when we check in any file. So this file is checked in into the Git. So when we added any file in the Git, execution will automatically start. Click on this. There is a build. Click on this. You can see here now this is installing the playwright. So this is going to install the required jar files, playwright. Okay. All the packages is getting download on the machine, which needed for the playwright. Now you can see the browser is downloading Chromium browser. Okay, it will automatically download also the Chromium. Done downloading the FF MPG. Okay, downloaded the Firefox, downloaded the BAPE kit here. Okay, after that, it started running the test. Complete job. If I go in the test section, you can see test. Test run one failure zero error zero like that. So one test executed successfully in the GitHub. Okay, so if I click here again, build, go to the bike, select the workflow. So there is an artifact, right? We can also add the artifact here. Okay, so how we do that? So go to the file. We can directly view file from here. Go to the back. Click on here. View workflow file. Then we have edit. Okay, if we want to add something, right? Publish code. We can add here. So for to publish the uh, artifact, right? We have code here, and this we can add here. This is name, okay. And these are the uses. This is the action upload artifact, okay. We are called using this with artifact. This is the name. So, like I'm mentioning here, report. And we are using a target folder. So I'm going to publish completely target folder as an artifact where we will see all those details. So let's commit again this code. Okay, because we added here. Now we need to commit. Added. Artifact code. In action work. Flow file commit. Okay, so as soon as I committed new code here, you will see execution will automatically start. Right? This is the now and this is queued and in progress starting. If I open this again, we will see here build 
click on this and you will see this is running build in the build it is downloading the required jar files Yeah, test started running here. And then okay, publish the artifact. Okay, now if I go in summary tab, you will see one artifact is added here. Click on this, you will see the artifact. This is the report. If I click right we will get file will download here you can see jar file is available class sure file report is available so all the artifacts are available and added here in the github okay so in the next video i will also discuss like how we run the test in headed mode not headless what need we need to configure all those we will discuss in more details okay so thanks for watching the video and also if you like my video so click on the like button subscribe the channels and share this tutorial to your friends colleagues so that they can also get benefit